Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm Susan Swanson with DeNovo Realty and I have the honor and the privilege to be with Cindy Nichols at the Angel Wings Parrot Rescue. And I am so excited to uh, <laughs> learn the story of how you founded this place and just what, what it's all about. Well, one of my favorite sayings is, follow your passion and find your purpose. And my passion is parrots and my purpose is rescue. Hands down, I know that's what I was put here to do. Wow, and you look so happy. And, and, I am. And, and how many total birds do you have? We have about 54. We can house up to 100 um, when necessary, but we're really crowded when we have that many. Um, we do adopt birds out that are adoptable. Our adoption rate is about two to four monthly, yeah. uh, most months. Of course, COVID has changed everything for everybody, including us. Uh, we used to do an open house a couple times a year to oh. raise funds and awareness in the neighborhood. And we'd have like, a, the back porch would be a big store with pirate uh, paraphernalia, you know, like towels oh, and beach bags and that kind of thing. Well, we do one and, this um, summer? Um, well, we don't do them in the summer, we do it in the fall. And oh, I think okay. we will have it. We usually do it in the uh, middle of November. And how do we get to know about that? Um, we advertise it on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Facebook, Angel Wings Parrot Rescue. And we have a website, angelwingsparrotrescue.com. And um, we also advertise it in the local newspapers and radio stations oh, okay. um, so. that we're having it. And um, it's a good event. All the yeah. volunteers come and they walk everybody through and tell them about the, each bird individually. And then we let you shop on the porch and it's oh, all to fun. make, raise oh, funds to help the rescue. I can't wait for that. Yeah, we yes. even have jewelry, you oh, know, related. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, some of our volunteers make things for the auction. Uh, oh, nice. We have an auction once or twice a year as well. Um, that's online through Facebook. Uh -huh. where it's all uh, parrot toys and parrot related things. And once again, beach towels, uh, you know, mugs with parrots on them and that sort of thing. Oh, that's great. We're an official 501c3. We became a 501c3 in 2014. And um, our mission is to rescue, rehabilitate and rehome any parrot in need. Um, we take them in if they're medically needy, we get them the veterinarian care they need. and. Um, try to get them on the road to recovery and find them their forever home is the goal. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I also uh, board people's birds. It's very important when you have a parrot to board it with somebody that is bird savvy and knowledgeable um, because there are lots of dangers for birds that people wouldn't think of. Uh, scented candles, um, clean your oven. You can't use oven cleaner. You right. can't use any Teflon cookware. Isn't it gas too? Like natural gas? Yeah. Any, anything dangerous. you can smell, it harms that their respiratory system. They have a really fragile respiratory system. Nice. Um, so it's really important that when you board your bird, when you go away, that it's with somebody that knows what they're doing. Yes. And um, that's how we raise funds to keep the rescue running. Our operating budget is about $2,000 a month, you know, just wow. for, yeah. $2,000. Yeah. And what do they eat? They eat 100% um, human grade uh, pelleted diet um, wow. called Tropi Mix. And I do mix some uh, other pellets in with that. They get a little bit of safflower seed and um, they get an assortment of nuts in the shell unsalted. And they get unsalted cashews. And then once a day, they get all that in the morning. And then they also get uh, dried fruit that's made for birds with no sugar added, called yeah. true fruit. And then around 4 to 5 p.m., they get their dinner, which consists of broccoli, cauliflower, carrots all chopped up. Oh, wait. Um, grapes <laughs> cut in half, apples, strawberries, cantaloupe, whatever fruits, you know, are available at the time. They eat really well, better than okay. myself, <laughs> for like sure, yeah. Better than me. Oh, and they get cooked <laughs> pasta every day. That's their favorite. They must have their cooked pasta. Corkscrew pasta. Wow. That's their favorite, right, Paco? Oh, I'm yeah. coming back as a bird the next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to come back as one, too. <laughs> I want to stay with you. He's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing. Is that funny, Paco? Huh. So special need birds like Paco, um, you know, they stay with us forever. And... Um, and we take care of all their medical needs while they're here. I have birds that have grand mal seizures, epilepsy, um, a lot of birds that have to be medicated daily. So it's a it's a labor of love to do this. It's uh, it's a lot of work, a do, lot of work. Do a lot of people like to come and rescue them and adopt they them? They do, they yeah. do. Um, how do you go about 
Um, well, first step is to call me and make an appointment. Right now, we're well, we're always by appointment only because it is a home-based rescue. I see your sign, all birds welcome, but humans by appointment and that's only. <laughs> absolutely true. <laughs> I got one on the front that says this place is for the birds, and this house actually was bought to be Angel Wings Parrot Rescue. Ah. And I hope even when I'm long gone from here, it's still Angel Wings Parrot Rescue. That's the goal. Oh, that's so. nice because this is going to be our grandchildren's grandchildren problem and they just keep on breeding the birds and it really should just stop. Uh -huh. um, they, the expert predicted there's about 400,000 right now in the U.S. without a home, oh, no place to sad. go. And this is, um, like I said, a labor of love. It's not a money-making deal, it, you know, and it's 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, yeah. So there's not a lot of people willing to give up their life and make the parrots come before even their family. And that's what really? you have to do in order to do this successfully. So you actually live here? I live here. Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. They, uh, my birth with seizures, they can't, you know, if they have a seizure, they need immediate care. Wow. Um, that, this is yeah. your calling. That's yeah. what you were created mm -hmm. to do. Yes, it is. So and I know that. May we take a little tour? Oh, absolutely. So we're going to Brandon Lawson. He is one of our two zero volunteers. Yay! And he spoils my dog rotten. That's why she follows him around like crazy. If he's back here with the door closed, she lays there until we open it. She takes her treats. <laughs> yeah. That's about two days worth of nuts for the birds that are here. Come on back. This is where I store everything. And this is the small bird. And here's the parakeet and climbers. Oh, they're going to Oh, yeah. This is the small And this is the youngest bird here. He's about nine months old. He's And as you can see, we clean every cage every day. We vacuum every floor two or three times a day. It's immaculate. Yeah, everything is always clean. Fungus in his beak untreated for um, 10 years before they relinquished him. So it's been a, a real bit of work trying to get these that long and you couldn't even see him holding it. He stunk so bad with his body. But um, my vet has been really good and diligent. He's on medicine. He's, in, he's past the ed, end of his lifespan, but he has like nine lives or something. He's almost died so many times, but he just has such a will to live. And he'll say, I kiss. Kiss. I 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 kiss. Say, give me a kiss. I said. So all my volunteers love him. He's like, he's well known. He's a lover. Yes. He's had strokes to the point where he he was all curled up and everything. And he's overcame. They can overcome a lot. They have a will to live just like humans do. And uh, he's proof of that. He's like 40 years old. Oh. Yeah. And they usually live till they're 35. Oh, wow. And even with all the health problems, he keeps on going. Oh, must be all the tender, loving care you give them. Yeah. So we use certain particular rags. Uh, we use to clean the cages. We use a kind of a, a sponge on the outside, and we're always in need of those. And here's what they look like. Public. They come in three colors, which we're about. That's what we clean the cages with every day. We always need uh, drum liners and. 55 gallon drum liners and 39 gallon trash bags. We go through quite a few of them a day. Bye bye. Bye. We have a 50 foot screen porch with 
chain link so that raccoons couldn't get in. Oh. They're all in by 4 p.m. We also have a 50-foot flight out, out there. And how often do they go out in the flight area? Um, and weather permitting, I can put about seven or eight of them out there. And um, typically, I rotate. So maybe, you know, twice a week. Oh. Yeah. Some of them like to fly and some of them don't fly. So it just depends, right? It's a lot of work, yeah. So when I let them out here, it's like a whole extra room to clean, you know, because I've got to clean up after them. Yeah. Make sure all the food got to put on so we don't get mice. Do these like to dance too? They do. I noticed you have music on. Yeah. La da 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 you can give me a call once again it's $350 a year or $25 a month and um, for that year uh, you know that bird your name will be on a paper we have a list um, that you're the sponsor and we'll send you pictures or you can visit that bird um, you can choose the bird that you want to sponsor any of our permanent residents need to be sponsored and we have a a picture of and show you what ones are available for sponsorship right now. You could buy that bird toys. You could say, hey, this is my bird this year. You know, I'm sponsoring it. So it's a really good thing to do to help the rescue. And there's always such a need for fun. Just their food bill alone is a thousand dollars a month just to feed them. So, but they're worth it. So worth it. Well, Cindy, it's been such a delight. Thank you for all the information and the tour of this place. And I hope you volunteers up. I hope so. Thank you for coming. We enjoyed having you.